Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for September 17th, read by Sarah M. from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, USA. AA thoughts for the day. Restraint. Our first objective will be the development of self-restraint. This carries a top priority rating. When we speak or act hastily or rashly, the ability to be fair-minded and tolerant evaporates on the spot. One unkind tirade or one willful snap judgment can ruin our relation with another person for a whole day or maybe a whole year. Nothing pays off like restraint of tongue and pen. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 91. Thought to Consider The tongue must be heavy indeed, because so few people can hold it. AA Acronyms BEST Been enjoying sobriety today? Just for today, found the door from Twice Gifted. My physical being has certainly undergone a transformation, but the major transformation has been spiritual. The hopelessness has been replaced by abundant hope and sincere faith. The people of Alcoholics Anonymous have provided a haven where, if I remain aware and keep my mind quiet long enough, my higher power leads me to amazing realizations. I find joy in my daily life, in being of service, and simply being. I have found rooms full of wonderful people, and for me, each and every one of the big book's promises have come true. The things that I have learned from my own experience, from the big book, and from my friends in AA, patience, acceptance, honesty, humility, and a true faith in a power greater than myself, are the tools I use today to live my life, this precious life, Today my life is filled with miracles big and small, not one of which would ever have come to pass had I not found the door of Alcoholics Anonymous. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 475. Daily Reflections Freedom from Fear When, with God's help, we calmly accepted our lot, then we found we could live at peace with ourselves and show others who still suffered the same fears that they could get over them too. We found that freedom from fear was more important than freedom from want. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 122. Material values ruled my life for many years during my active alcoholism. I believed that all of my possessions would make me happy, yet I still felt bankrupt after I obtained them. When I first came into AA, I found out about a new way of living. As a result of learning to trust others, I began to believe in a power greater than myself. Having faith freed me from the bondage of self. As material gains were replaced by the gifts of the Spirit, my life became manageable. I then chose to share my experience with other alcoholics. As Bill sees it, Inward Reality It is being constantly revealed as mankind studies the material world that its outward appearance is not inward reality at all. The prosaic steel girder is a mass of electrons whirling around each other at incredible speed, and these tiny bodies are governed by precise laws. Science tells us so. We have no reason to doubt it. When, however, the perfectly logical assumption is suggested that Infinitely beyond the material world as we see it, there is an all-powerful, guiding, creative intelligence. Our perverse streak comes to the surface and we set out to convince ourselves that this isn't so. Were our contention true, it would follow that life originated out of nothing, means nothing, and proceeds nowhere. Alcoholics Anonymous, pages 48 to 49. Big Book Quote If we were to live, we had to be free of anger. The grouch and the brainstorm were not for us. They may be the dubious luxury of normal men, but for alcoholics, these things are poison. 
Alcoholics Anonymous 4th Edition, How It Works, page 66. 24 hours a day, AA thought for the day. Step one is, we admitted we were powerless over alcohol, that our lives had become unmanageable. This step states the membership requirement of AA. We must admit that our lives are disturbed. We must accept the fact that we were helpless before the power of alcohol. We must admit that we are licked as far as drinking is concerned and that we need help. We must be willing to accept the bitter fact that we cannot drink like normal people, and we must make, as gracefully as possible, a surrender to the inevitable fact that we must stop drinking. Is it difficult for me to admit that I am different from normal drinkers? Meditation for the day. Show us the way, O Lord, and let us walk in thy paths. There seems to be a right way to live and a wrong way. You can make a practical test. When you live the right way, things seem to work out well for you. When you live the wrong way, things seem to work out badly for you. You seem to take out of life about what you put into it. If you disobey the laws of nature, the chances are that you will be unhealthy. If you disobey the spiritual and moral laws, the chances are that you will be unhappy. By following the laws of nature and the spiritual laws of honesty, purity, unselfishness, and love, you can expect to be reasonably happy and healthy. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may try to live the right way. I pray that I may follow the path that leads to a better life. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Sarah, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc. 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.